Hello everyone, my name is Krishna. Today I will be explaining our paper Multimodal Emotion Recognition Using Cross Modal Attention and 1D Convolutional Neural Network. This work was done by me and one of my co author Ankita Patil. So, I am going to cover the overview of the tutorial first. First, we will be explaining the in introduction of the paper, then we will see the proposed approach in detail, then we will see the data set used for the experimentation, finally, we will see the experiments and results. So as the paper itself says, we are uh, we are working with something called multimodal emotion recognition. So the idea of multimodal emotion recognition is to use two or three different modalities to predict the emotion class of an audio data. In our case, we will be using audio as one modality, you can call it M1 and a text as another modality. So we want to know, we want to use the audio modality and text modality together in a neural network setting to predict the class label of a particular audio and we use something called cross modal attention which we will be explaining in the coming slide in detail and raw waveform encoders to achieve this task and the idea of using cross modal attention is to capture the it capture the inf interactive information between different modalities in our case audio and text and to learn the interactive information or to learn some representation which will capture this interactive information so that we can efficiently classify the uh, efficiently predict the emotion label of a particular audio and we will be using something called raw waveform based encoders which helps us in learning the feature representations directly from raw audio instead of using something like mfcc or spectrogram based features and we will be explaining the explaining the algorithm in detail in the coming slides and we show that using this setting which is cross modal at attention and raw waveform based encoder gives us 1.9% absolute improvement in accuracy compared to the previous state of the art uh, previous state of the art multimodal emotion recognition models and we also show in our experiment that using raw waveform instead of spectrogram gives us 0.54% absolute improvement in accuracy now we'll uh, understand the proposed approach in uh, in this manner. So first we'll explain the uh, multimodal, uh, sorry, the, the model architecture, the idea of the entire uh, paper. Then we will understand the audio encoder, which is sub part of the uh, model. And we'll also look into the, the text encoder part. And uh, then finally we'll understand the cross modal attention block and then statistic polling. So this is the entire architecture of the model. So you as you can see, we have the audio encoder, which is called ENC1, and we have the text encoder, which is called ENC2. As you can see, there are two different streams, if you look at it this way. So one stream takes the audio data, and another stream takes text data. Text data could be in terms of word embeddings or uh, some other kind of embeddings as well, like BERT embeddings. But in, in our case, in this paper, we are working only with word embeddings which is sequence of vectors for sequence of words and also each stream has cross modal attention which we will understand in detail in the coming slides and finally we will pull the sequence of features into a single feature which is called utterance level feature using statistic pooling and then we concatenate the, the pooled feature vectors from both modalities to finally classify that particular feature where the to classify the vector to one of the four categories so as you can see the encoder one the audio encoder takes raw audio waveform directly as i mentioned in the previous uh, slides so we work with the raw audio waveform and we use sequence of convolution layers to extract features directly from this raw audio and as you know convolutions since if you want to work with 1d signal we have to use 1d convolution and uh, we have three different convolution blocks here. Each one has the same uh, settings, but with different parameters like 1D convolution, batch normalization, ReLU and max pooling operations. And then we use BLSTM layer to capture the temporal information uh, uh, from uh, temporal information, which takes the, the uh, learned features from raw audio as inputs and learns the temporal uh, information using bidirectional LSTM setting and the same thing in the same way 
we have word embeddings which are sequence of for sequence of words we have sequence of word embeddings then they go through projection layer so the one d convolution is you can see here is just a projection layer from uh, whatever word embedding dimension could be uh, to uh, as a particular uh, dimension it acts as a projection layer and then the same by lstm is used to capture the the temporal info which could be some sort of a semantic uh, and syntactic syntactic information then we use uh, cross modal attention which is the main important thing in this uh, paper the cross modal attention looks takes uh, both audio encoder features and text encoder features and uses this attention mechanism to learn the cross modal or interactive information between these two modalities and in the similar fashion the cma2 takes the text encoder feature and audio encoder features and again learns interactive information between uh, the two modalities and we will look into the uh, look into the uh, details of how this interactive information is captured using attention mechanism in coming slides and then once we have the the features or once we have the the uh, the attention uh, learned uh, interactive features or the representation we can pool them using statistic pooling layer to get a utterance level feature vector which will represent the entire audio and in the similar way we also use statistic pooling in out, uh, after cma2 as well and then we can concatenate the two features which will have uh, information from both stream and then we can use that for the classification which will predict which which is some sort of a softmax classifier this is the whole idea of the paper this is the entire uh, block of the paper now in the coming slide we'll understand each block uh, each each uh, this diagram block by block so as you as you saw in the previous slide we had this audio encoder so the audio encoder is basically is a is a sequence of is a, a neural network which has couple of cnns and rnns uh, to learn feature representation directly from the raw audio data so as you can see here we have this raw audio which could be some sort of a 1d signal let's represent uh, x it as xn which is sequence of samples x1 x2 and uh, let's say capital xn so basically this these are sequence of samples in raw audio then we can use the convolution block so this convolution block is uh, con consist of three uh, convolution layers and each convolution layer has 1d convolution operation batch normalization relu and max pooling so we are passing this xn as input and we get something called fa so the fa is basically a 2d matrix so it it it, it is a 2d matrix and it has two dimensions so one dimension basically represents the number of filters so as you can see this dimension represent number of filters in the the last uh, cnn um, uh, convolution 3 block let's assume it as 64 for example if you have, if you want to learn 64 features and other dimension represents time right so basically the output the cfa is a 2d matrix and as you can think already this 2d matrix is something similar to mfcc features or spectrogram features so in in case of mfcc as well we have we extract features at every 10 millisecond frame and uh, after we apply mfcc algorithm we get a 2d matrix which has uh, one dimension which is uh, the y axis has a mfcc dimension or spectrogram dimension which could be 13 dimension mfcc feature or some other features or 80 uh, log mill filter bank energy something like that and in the x axis we have the time dimension which is whatever number of frames we have in the uh, after mfcc feature extraction so this is the similar setting now uh, this sequence of vectors which we can call them as features then uh, goes to by lstm layer to uh, by lstm uh, layer uh, or neural network uh, and the output of which will have some sort of a temporal information right so that is the idea of this audio encoder and similarly we have the text encoder which takes sequence of words so let's call it as let's call wt as uh, w1 w2 and so on to wt which are sequence of word embeddings which in our case we are using glove uh, word embeddings and they all similarly go through 1d convolution layer which is kind of a projection layer and then finally by lstm to uh, by lstm to capture the temporal info right now we'll come to the main block which is the cross modal attention so the cross modal attention we have two cross modal attention blocks one in the audio stream and one in the text stream so the audio stream one what happens is we want to learn the interactive information so what we do is we use this multi head self attention 
uh, architecture. So this multi-head self-attention architecture is simple. It has uh, three different, uh, the, it has query, key and value. So when we are looking at audio streams or CMA1, we feed the audio features from BioLHTM as a query and the, um, the text features as key and value. And as you know, so the attention, uh, I think this is a very many, uh, this a very famous uh, multi-head attention, uh, very famous algorithm called multi-head self-attention, which is a simple uh, dot product uh, with softmax uh, to capture the, or also known as dot product attention. So what we do is we take the query matrix and we multiply with uh, key matrix, and then we divide it by this uh, DQ, which is basically the length of the vectors uh, just for the normalization. And then we again multiply that by uh, the uh, value value matrix. So that is the attention and since it's a multi head, we have multiple heads. So we can just concatenate the output from all the uh, heads and then we get the final attention vector. Similarly, the same thing happens in EMA2 which takes the text feature as key queries and uh, audio features as key and value. So and the statistic pooling layer is very simple. So whatever feature vectors we get from the output of CMA1 or CMA2, we just pool all of these using uh, statistics uh, pooling algorithm, which just concatenation of mean of all the vectors and standard deviation of all the vectors. Now coming to the data set, we use uh, a IMO cap data set, which is a 12 hours of recording and it has uh, find, uh, about 5K uh, sentences. And uh, we have, we use four different emotions, happy, angry, neutral, and sad. And uh, we use leave one out of session uh, cross validation technique, which is basically taking the four sessions for training and one session for testing. And we repeat the same thing for all the sessions and then average the accuracy for all the test sessions. And uh, coming to the experimentation uh, section, we have, we use uh, 10 seconds of audio uh, for as an input to the raw audio, uh, 10 seconds of audio as input to the model. And uh, each, each audio is sampled at 16 kilohertz and we feed, uh, so we feed one lakh uh, 60,000 samples as input to the audio encoder. And as you know, we use three different uh, convolution layers which uh, in the audio encoder uh, with these kernels and uh, with these kernel sizes and kern uh, number of kernels. And uh, similarly, we use uh, text encoder, uh, which is one, DC, oh, one single 1DCNN. One uh, and uh, so the output of uh, the text encoder basically uh, I mean, both both audio encoder and text encoder has a uh, BLSTM of uh, hidden size 100. And uh, similarly, we use word embeddings uh, as input to the text encoder. And uh, again, we use a BLSTM here. And uh, we know this uh, multi-head self-potential layer has a feed forward uh, network inside and the size of hidden size of feed forward network is 100. And we use uh, Adam optimizer with learning rate of 0 0.01. And we implement this, uh, all the models in PyTorch. Coming to the result section, um, we compare our model with all the previous uh, multimodal uh, emotion recognition models. Um, as you can see here, we have this standard uh, E-vector, MCNN, LSTM, and uh, the, our proposed approach basically along with raw waveform is giving us 72.82% accuracy, uh, unweighted accuracy. And uh, if you don't use raw waveform, if you use spectrogram, we get a little bit less accuracy. And uh, Coming to the comparison between uh, using unimodal methods or uh, and uh, multimodal methods, uh, if you use only audio, uh, we have uh, the best one is TDNN plus BLSTM model, which is getting 60% 60.7% accuracy. Um, and uh, uh, if you use attention with LSTM, so LSTM with attention, we get 58.80, and ours is uh, uh, lesser than the previous state of the arts in case of multimodal, sorry, in case of unimodal. And in case of text, um, uh, uh, this is uh, text we have uh, 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 the, the self-attention with LSTM, which is giving us 65.90%, which is our, our method, right? And um, that's all for this tutorial. Uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or queries, please uh, contact me uh, to this email id krishna at uh, sizzle.gg thank you for listening thank you